in a new Netflix documentary, Becoming, former First Lady Michelle Obama gives us some insight into her time in the White House. She wanted life to be as normal as possible for her daughters, Sasha and Malia, who were 7 and 10 when Obama became president. So apparently, Michelle had to beg the housekeepers in the White House not to make the girls' beds. Michelle said, of course the girls were like, they make your bed. And I was like, I'm the First Lady, and I have a degree, darling. <laughs> mm-hmm. So, Gary, that's do you think one. this kept him from being spoiled, Gary? It probably did, but that's not fair. That's almost a form of child abuse when you don't let Why the kids... Why you figure that? Because they, daddy is the president. They should not be making up beds or doing anything like that. And uh, First Lady Michelle should be ashamed of herself. I feel so bad. That's probably why I saw him a little while go home. Gary, but sometimes you know the kids in which you're dealing with, and you could tell how they might be later, so you got to do preemptive things to stop them from being spoiled later. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. Now, Portia, how did Santa you, Portia? Would you tell your staff not to make PJ's bed? Uh, no, because I paid them to do that, so I'm gonna need them to do nah. their job. Hello. <laughs> PJ, <laughs> act like she got some sense. I mean, uh-huh. at the end of the day, you know, it's different because she was the first lady. Their her their father was the president of the United States, so she has to figure out a way to ground them. I mean, I'm out here grinding myself, so I'm working hard <laughs> for my daughter to be spoiled, so she's gonna be spoiled. Oh, I think it's perfect. Do you really think Princess Diana had Prince William and Prince Harry making their beds when they were growing up? No, no, no like not at all. Make beds. Mm -hmm. You know what she did? She got them into charity. That's what you do. Like, you know, if you're going to be letting them be spoiled and get what they need at home, then you teach them how to give back. Do you have a child with a giving heart? They won't be what we call them. But don't you remember, obviously we didn't grow up royal, we didn't grow up in the White House, but don't you remember being a kid and being in the house and putting your feet on something that you saw your mom put her feet on? And you're like, well, I can. And my mom would be like, uh, I can because that's my table. That's right. right. I bought that I table. bought that. And yeah. you know, it's like a low level, but on, on, you know, she's like, yeah, I can do whatever I want. It's my house and my table. That's right. Get right. your damn feet off of it. So you did talk back to your mom, yeah. just I like can. the Obama I kid. can. <laughs> she's like, no, yeah, you, you can't. You did a lot of talking. Yeah. <laughs> And that's why I have one wonky eye. That was my <laughs> <laughs> Got a bus in it. <laughs>